The following video may contain harsh language and spoilers for the movie in question. I mean, prob probably, I, I don't know. Really just depends on what you consider to be what. Today on Movie Mac Review, we will be talking about jujitsu. Here's what happened. Every six years, a comet comes around, and then a portal happens, and alien superfighter pops out to have mortal combat with some chosen assholes, like Jake. But Jake fell out the bed, bumped his head, and can't remember nothing. He is found by army intelligence, but then E.T., the space street fighter, shows up and kills a bunch of cannon fodder. Jake stumbles upon a guy named Wiley, who reconnects Jake with his crew of chosen alien ass kickers. Now, on with the violence. Jake got amnesia, and I don't think the film understands how that works. Too many people constantly shocked Jake doesn't remember things. No shit, he can't remember his own name. He's not going to remember his plan for fighting an alien super predator. We go about one hour until any actual face-off with super alien fighter begins. A lot of time is wasted with the army intelligence bits that feel like they're trying too hard to be predator, because this really is just predator cross mortal combat, but a lot of that could be cut and save us 20 or 30 minutes and tighten up the pacing. Too many characters are presented, and not well. No real thought was put into anyone, so we never give a damn about them, nor do they seem to really matter to the story. Like, they just really wanted to have that particular actor, so they made up a character for them. There is a unique bit of point-of-view fighting near the open that doesn't fit with literally anything else, and it lasts too long, and it's really bothersome. The fights are handled well, the actors they just had to have in this are really good at the punch kick, but some of these characters go down way too easy. Those played up to be the best of the best are cast aside in under 60 seconds. Though they weren't given much to work with, the only actors that come off as any level of likable are doing so mostly off their real-world charisma. Topped off with a cookie-cutter video game ending, and after just over 100 minutes of movie, I really feel like nothing actually happened. If you're a fan of martial arts, you would want to see the fights, but after watching it once, I don't think you would want to do it again. Let me know what you thought of Jiu Jitsu, and thanks for watching.